Hello and welcome to Geeky Bit. As it's DOS Simber, we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to set up DOSBox with Voodoo Graphics. So here is where we are going to get our version of DOSBox. We go to DOSBox-X.com and then for our purposes, we're going to be downloading the Windows installer. So you might be wondering, what is DOSBox X? Well, it is a fork version of DOSBox with a bunch of features, including built-in Voodoo graphics. Once we have it downloaded, before we run the installer, we want to go ahead and scan it. And as you can see, there is no viruses. You can choose whatever scanner you want. I'm using the built-in Windows one that is fully updated. Once we start the installation process, you have two options. We can install only for me, which doesn't require system admin, or install for all users. We're going to install for me. More or less, you just follow all these prompts. Just click next. We don't really need to change a whole lot. For me, I'm changing it to a different drive. And then I'm going to install all of the extras. Now, if everything looks really big like it does on my screen right here, we can change settings. As you can see, this is the drop down where we go ahead and change those settings. But there's another way to do it. And we're going to go ahead and edit the config to change it. Now that we have the config open, what we are going to do is change the option for output here. And it says TTL and we want to change it to a GL option. In fact, I'm going to go with this GL option right here. Open gl in b so this version of DOSBox is really fancy. In fact, we have a drive menu where we can mount files, folders, and drives to a drive letter for our DOSBox system. And we can also do other things to mount it, like the actual console command. But the thing that I want to do is I want to go back into the config and set up the mount that way. So we go ahead and do our mount. Uh, I'm going to mount this as C drive. I'm going to set it to a folder that I'm going to do all of my file stuff in. Now that we've set all of that up and we've started back into DOSBox, we can see, hey, look, there's C drive and we're good to go. So here I am showing Quake running and it seems to work great. Well, I forgot. The Glide version of Quake wants us to install it under Windows. So this is a DOS video about DOSBox. So we're doing everything in DOS. So instead of demoing this, we're going to go ahead and run Tomb Raider. And as you can see right there, we have the 3D effects splash screen and we're in Tomb Raider and it looks great. So that's pretty much how we set it up. Of course, it wasn't all smooth sailing. I had a few issues getting Descent 2 to work and configuring the CD drive for Tomb Raider was something I had to learn how to do. But aside from that, things seem to work great. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And if so, feel free to click that like button. And if you aren't subscribed so already, feel free to do so. And if you'd like to get notifications of my future videos, click that bell button.